Hi guys and welcome to a simple and quick review and this one is Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid and as I said I think I read three of her books and romance books in February and I'm so glad I found her. She's a really good romance writer and she doesn't hit like all my pet peeves. Um, she's a good writer, she's not too tropey of a writer and her characters actually match well as far as the writing. This story is about uh, the cosmos which I don't believe in, I believe in one life but um, this story is about the, uh, if you made a decision at one point in your life, where would it take you and lead you? And if you made another decision, where would it take you and lead you? So it follows Hannah and Ethan and Henry. The story, you only hear from one, the girl's perspective, Henry, but those are the big main characters in the storyline. Oh, and her friend, Gabby. Her Gabby is also a huge main character in her storyline. So her best friend. Um, so in one storyline, Hannah and Ethan go off, and one storyline, it's more of an Anna, Anna and Henry story. One story, like, she comes back to town, she's kind of lost, she's moved town to town, she doesn't know where she belongs, she doesn't know what she wants to do in her life, kind of moment, mid-twenties, I believe, <laughs> and, uh, she comes back to town, sees her first love, the guy that she was like, I could have been married to him one day, and it comes between a decision whether she goes with him that night or doesn't go. In one scenario, the story starts out really bad. Like she's gotten a car wreck, she lost a baby, um, or yeah, she got hit by a car, she lost a baby, and it starts out really bad, and then the story goes up and really good. The other story is really, really good in the beginning, and then it starts to go down. So both storylines, um, I like the way they end it, and that's why I gave the story a five star in the end. I did have some little critiques on the story, but I just, I had to get past them because I usually hate these storylines where they make you, they go back and forth and you don't know who the, to choose or which one is the right love kind of moment. I usually hate what they choose in the end, the author does, um, or something, there's something about it that makes me angry, but this one I was just not angry with. This was like literally the first romance story where I was not angry with the ending. And, and yeah, so like props to her. Like, it was done really, really well. And also Gabby's storyline, I really liked hers. Hers was her best friend and how she um, kind of splits with her husband in both storylines. One's like a little later on versus the other one. There are some triggers in the story. There's um, like a cheater and a miscarriage and a bad car accident. Uh, there was only one small critique and I just thought the two main romance boy characters uh, were a little bit flatlined, like a little one-dimensional. And that was the only thing I really noticed in the end or kind of thought about afterwards. During the book, I didn't uh, miss it or anything, but it just afterwards, I just kind of thought, well, they're, they're, <laughs> they're kind of playing characters. Uh, I mean, Gabby was a way more fun character in the main. Gabby and uh, Hannah were kind of way more fun characters and way more kind of three-dimensional, I thought. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that really quick review, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!